Oh, when you get to wow. this stage, and I know having watched that and you were commenting th through it, you know, that it's all of us, we've all done this. Yeah. But on launch day, don't you think, oh, God, here we go again? No, I don't. It's, it's even more exciting. I get so excited. I'm like a big, fizzy bottle of lemonade. I have to be careful because if I've got a fork, I might jab myself in the eye. <laughs> it's so exciting to be relaunching Comet Relief again because it's another chance for the British public to kind of roll up their sleeves and get involved. We've... Say, this is extraordinary. We've all of us saved over 68 million lives. Do you know how cool that is? Mm. That's like the coolest thing ever. We've helped to destigmatize mental health issues in this country. We've helped people with disabilities. We've helped with spousal abuse. We've helped young people with drug and alcohol problems. It's a, an amazing thing. And we've all been involved. Everybody who's put their hand down the sofa, everybody who's done stupid stuff. My bank manager once sat in a bath full of baked beans all day. Isn't it great? It's fantastic. <laughs> so we've all been involved. We've all done stuff, whether it's broadcasting or raising money in our church halls, in our scout huts, in our groups. We've done this and we've raised over a billion pounds in the last 30 years. back to basics this year, isn't it? Back to, back to basics means um, comics on the night. Um, it's a very presentatastic comic relief and we love our presenters, but there was a move away from uh, uh, comics just because they wanted to make the, the comedy kind of like the cherry on the cake and they wanted the um, presenters to hold the whole thing together. And we're not putting it out of a job, you guys, but what's, ha what's happened this time is they want the comics to sort of take over again and run riot. It's going to be very... Uh, anarchy. It's going to be... <laughs> Good I luck don't with quite that. know how it's going to work on the night. But what's great is there's a mixture of old and new names on the night. Um, there's me, there's Joe Lysett, there's Rob Beckett, Romesh Ranganathan, Aww. Warwick Davis, Jonathan Ross, Greg Davis, Vic and Bob are going to be going crazy backstage, Miranda Hart, French and Saunders, Mrs Brown is going to be performing oh, on the brilliant. night. Graham Norton has got the longest sofa in the world for a load of... <laughs> I think he's going to do a simultaneous interview with a lot of people. Have Vic and Bob got a time that they're actually coming on this time? Because wasn't it a few years back? I hope it's not going to be the thing where they, they're going to do a thing where they're pretending to be drunk and they actually get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted anarchy. I it mean, was very know. funny, but we're going to be in Building 6 in the O2 all night. We've never broadcast from there before. We're going to be in every single orifice of that building broadcasting live on the night. Live sketches, live stuff happening There's on the of, night. There's a lot of um, stand-up going on around the a lot of stand-up all over the New country. Comedian. We're doing four gigs, Glasgow, Cardiff, Manchester, Birmingham. Birmingham one sold out at the Glee Cup Club. But me, John Bishop, Joe Brandon, Ellis James are hosting nights of new comedy with people like Jamali Maddox and uh, um, Ellie Taylor, Dame Baptiste, London Hughes, Jack Carroll. It's going to be a, a pretty scorching night of new talent and some old familiar faces. So when you, um, when, when you, I mean, when you first started this, you can't ever have imagined, you would have hoped that it would become as huge as it is now, but you could never have imagined it. And seeing what you You've seen, especially when you go on those visits like that, it must have changed you as a person. It's changed all our lives, and I think if you remember when we did um, famous, rich, and in the slums, which I think is a great title, slightly misnomer with the rich bit, but um, me and Reggie and Angie and Sam didn't really understand how immersive it was going to be. You literally go there and you live in a house with people and you do a job every day. Reggie had to work in... He worked in a sewage van. Yeah, I remember that. And I, I was delivering coal for the first few days. Angela was washing clothes and Sam was working in a hospital and she saw a, a baby that had just passed away and it was awful. We all had our lives changed. I moved in with Bernard on the penultimate night and I knew I was going to get sick the next day. And my, the whole of the next day was me saying, let's not do the documentary anymore, let's try and find them somewhere to live now. Mm. And it was, I think, when it affects you like that, go with that feeling, because our job is to put it across to the people at home how important it is to not just go, oh, there's, there's a few quid, yeah. is to get your feelings involved and to actually do something proper. And just before we finish, we've got to talk about the theme of the Red Noses this year. What's happening uh, there? Yes, well, the, the theme of the Red Nose, there's actually going to be a... a um, <laughs> A interactive game that you can play online and it's called the comic adventure and the red noses right. and you can go online and Stephen Hawking is involved I'm narrating it Stephen Hawking Ainsley Harriet who uh, is never seen in the room with me at and the it's same like time. A comic strip <laughs> you end you you pick the ending of There's the story a game which and, is on... and the kids get to decide how it ends oh and um, we've done a special thing for you guys oh because we know how much you like to support red nose though we've made a, a specially uh, bespoke red nose for each of you oh! Oh, and, and I love you. it. A silver fox, a silver fox nose. It's a silver fox, and that's you. 
I, I think mine looks like a fat Luther Van Oh, my gosh, I love it. <laughs> but um, there's yours. Oh, oh my God, I thank absolutely you. love it. Thank go you, to thank the, you. This, go to the This Morning website we'll for more details, details of everything. Thank you, Lenny. We've got to go to the weather now. Lenny, we we'll love you. We'll be back thank you. after I love the weather. You. <laughs>